Where is my dear husband coming from? Where is my dear husband coming from at two in the morning? I am asking a simple question. Derek, I am your wife. I deserve an answer. Where could a married man be coming from? This letter. I don't have that answer, woman. Okay. 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 I thought this was going to be our happiest night since it's our three years anniversary. Wrong. My husband comes back at two in the morning. No answer. Does a three years anniversary hold any meaning? Yes, Derek. It has. That's why I took my time to dress like this. Make up my face. Cook that nice food. Write those sweet words. Wait for the whole day and night. Derek, to me it has a lot of meaning. It has. God. <laughs> Hear yourself, Miss Asim Hilda. What should do we celebrate here? My name as your second name or the children that we've had in our three years of marriage? Tell me, my dear wife. Tell me. You make me sick. <laughs> you make me sick. <laughs> A woman who cannot give her husband even a single child is almost useless. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You assured us that what is needed is money and time. We gave you our money and the time requested for. So what is it that the product is delaying to come? Please calm down. Everything is under control. We just need more time. More time? More time? Derek. Every time, more time. More time. I think we should compose a song titled More Time and call it a business. Guys, that's not the way we agree to operate. Derek, I hope you remember. We need great success in this business. What I understand most is money. And Daniel, money. And I can't have it if I have no products. So don't make me to wait any longer. Thank you. 
is she? Your secretary? Treasurer? Manager? Partner? Assistant director? Or simply a beautiful mistress? Who is she, Derek? What are you talking about? I am talking about this. Oh. I really, really don't know how to go to bed. I think someone hugged me and... Shut up, Derek! Shut up! For God's sake, stop lying! Please! Say the truth for once, Derek. A woman who paints such lipstick on a married man's shirt sends a message. Go ahead, Derek. Encourage her to. I will not stop you. I will never stand along your way. But one day, one day, Derek, Please, take it to her. She may wash it better than I would. And please, let her know that I have received her message. Madam Hilda. Doctor, I prefer Asimwe. Asimwe, I've checked you very well. But still, you're not pregnant. I have a problem. Like, am I barren? Madame Asim, there is nothing wrong with you, neither your husband. We have already checked you. Then why am I taking long? Remember, I've taken you people to other doctors, but still, you got the same results. Dr. Diana, it's three years now. I'm getting worried. You should not worry yourself. The right time will come. And please, don't stress yourself. Should I get for you, marriage counselor? I think so. Especially my husband. Okay, I'll do that. So, next time, come along with Mr. Derek.
I went to the hospital today. And uh, the doctor checked me. But still, uh, I'm not pregnant. I, I tried to ask the doctor what could be the problem, but she said that we are both fine. She she's suggesting that We should go for counseling. What is wrong with you, Derek? I am talking about something important for our marriage. And you're simply ignoring me? Busy using your phone? I am fighting. Derek, I am fighting for us. Why can't you see it and you support me? And did I tell you to fight? You are fighting for yourself. There is nothing like we. I fought in the first year. Nothing came up. I fought in the second year. Nothing happened. And still, you want me to fight for the third year. No matter. I am tired. Even if we fight for 30 years, there is nothing good will come out of you. There isn't. We did everything. We did everything. Went to different counselors. Checkups month after month. What did we get? Nothing. Or is the same useless, stupid answers? Accept the bitter truth that you are barren. Maybe that's when you have a peace of mind and stop being on my neck. There is nothing good in you. Just sitting in my son's chairs, watching TV all day long. If you could only use that energy to give me a grandchild, it could be great. Good for nothing, people. Where is my son? He's not yet back home. I'll get you a drink. <laughs> 
don't mind. I can never eat or drink anything from this house. Perhaps when my son is around, and even then, it must be served not by you, but my son. I need the volume on. Yourself. What's the matter this time round? What else I could be hitting my mind than my marriage? I feel like I'm tired of everything. Must be that woman. I feel like I don't want to see her anymore. I'm blaming myself. Why did I marry her? Derek, it's very sad. You sound like you completely lost love for her. Not really. I still love my wife. But the more I love her, the more I feel hatred towards her. Every time I see her in my face, I feel like a stranger who should be very far away from my house. You and Hilda have come a long way. Why don't you use that love you claim you have for her to redesign your marriage? Truth be told, when I see your wife, I feel jealous, eh, man. You just don't understand. My wife is a mess. But I keep asking myself a question. What exactly does she see in me? She sees a husband. That's all. Hell on earth. What? My mother is home. Fire must be burning. I must run there. No, mother, I'm not crying. I'm just happy to hear from you. <laughs> yes, mother. Everything is fine. <laughs> I only want to see you. I'm very sorry. I may not be able to come home. But please, when you find time, please come over. <laughs> Bye, mother. Always love you. <laughs> oh, na 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 na. It is the strength of a woman, strength of a woman that makes her overcome everything that comes away in life. Gamani agomukazi. Survival for the fittest we should find. Honey, oh, breakfast is ready. Why the bugs? Um, mother's leaving. Oh, good morning, mother. Mother, you're leaving so early. 
Why the rush? Woman, never call me your mother again. I don't produce barren people. I'm no longer your mother. All you do best is eat, watch TV, sleep, go to toilet, eat, watch TV, go to toilet, sleep. What else can you do? Good for nothing, people. And why should I not leave this domed house? God, why? God, why? God, why? God, why? God, why? To work for you, baby girl. Ton of problems. What is it, baby girl? Usual problems, as you know. But life moves on. Forget about me. How many days have you spent without sleeping? I see a 25 year old looking like she's 60. You called me for good news. I'm ready to listen. Baby girl. Well, the good news is I finally found Mr. Wright. <laughs> what? This is not good news. <laughs> news ever oh I'm so happy for you darling thank you oh my god so very soon you'll be meeting him mm -hmm. but at the same time I'm so worried things are happening so fast <sighs> Macron it's not all about things happening so fast or slow. It's about what you feel for him. Build on that to own your Mr. Right. Yes, Hilda. You're right. And what I feel is love. And this is 
Frau Minister. You girl, I missed you like so much. I'm here. It's been a while, eh? Uh, so what's up? My dear, a lot has happened in your absence. I even don't know where to start and end from. But you should begin with this. <laughs> exactly. That envelope is My dear, who are these people in the photos? May I hear the story now? Slowly, dear. Okay. I'll start with the handsome guy. That's the guy I've been telling you about on phone. <laughs> wow. Someone is in love. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing I'm back in town. I have been missing a lot. I'll see him myself. Yeah. So, darling, how about the woman? That's the obstacle. I told you. Oh. A big block standing in my way. But she won't stop me. I've already stamped my name deep in his heart. <laughs> Wow. I can see you're so determined to own this guy. Very. And I trust you when it comes to such projects. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been missing a lot. So forget about the woman and tell me more about the dude. There you come. So this guy mm -hmm. is cute. And he is handsome. Aww. He is rich. Oh my god. <laughs> Girlfriend. Like, he is super perfect. You're feeding on a big fish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> oh good. sound better for me. Well, your file is crystal clear. There is nothing wrong with both of you people. That sounds nice too. Isn't it? It sounds cool. Yes but posing a lot of questions in our mind. I know. And I understand. The major question here is why are we taking long? If my husband is okay, and me too, why are we taking long to have a, a child? What must be done right? is the most awaited answer. And that answer is wait. Wait. Wait until the right time. And that right time should find you clean. Ready for what you've been waiting for. So, you must be careful. Sometimes people around us make us dirty. 
they stand along our right path and push us into taking wrong journeys. Are you with me, Madam and Sima Hilda? By the way, is Ansimwe part of his name? Yes, uh, my sweet dad. Oh, I thought not. Let's start from there tomorrow. From the name? <laughs> no. From preparing ourselves such that the right time finds us clean, staying focused on the right journeys in life. since morning, looking for the fire. But I remember we kept it among these files. Could someone have entered the office in absence and retrieved it? If we don't allocate this fire, we are finished. You know what? We should check both in our homes. is ready. Honey, you scared me. <sighs> Do not come any closer. Honey, what's wrong? Come on, you know you got me to rock your world, so... Let me do my job. Honey, what have I done wrong to deserve this? You have done the worst. 
What's going on here? <laughs> Getting it just scaring Do me. Do not harm me. As much as I love you, I want you to always remember. Always remember that you're in love with a married man. So, know your limits. How could you be so heartless? sure whether she saw it. <laughs> Everything was written all over his face. Why was he ruthless then? It must have worked. But it must have worked. He, he seems so angry at me. So what? <sighs> well, everything that matters here is, does he love you? And yes, he confirmed it. You're in love with a married man. How could you be so heartless? <laughs> I love this last part. <laughs> you know I'm in a war to win a married man's yeah. heart from his wife. So to win it, I have to be heartless. Yeah. Of course, of course. So, <laughs> step two mm -hmm. is to crawl so smoothly like a cat around his feet and say, I'm sorry, darling. Remember when we were making love? When you removed my knicker? I honestly do not know how it mixed up in your clothes and slid into your coat. I'm so sorry. I promise to be careful next time. <laughs> oh, Sophia, you're bad. <laughs> Mother Cow, it's you who blessed me with this marriage. It's you still who can bless me. Please, Father, come on. Please, Father, come on. Come on, you heal me. I cannot make it without you, Lord. I cannot stand. I cannot make it without you, Father. I am calling you, Heavenly God. Please, come on. Come on, you save me, Lord. Come on, you save me. I am your child. Who else can understand me better than you? Lord, please. Lord, I'm dying. I need you. I need you. Come on, you save me. Come on, you save my husband. Lord, come on, intercede. I can't stand it anymore. I am weak. I am just human, Lord. You know it. Sometimes I lose hope, I lose faith. Please come to me, Lord. You're the one I trust, you're the one I know, you're the one I can cry to. No one can understand me better, Lord. I need you. I need you to come, for God. Please come to me, Lord. Come and rescue me. I need to be a mother. Please go, come over, please. Please help me. I give my husband a child. Please, Lord. It's you. It's you I pray. It's you I serve, Lord. Please don't let me to be ashamed. I can't take it. I cannot make it. I cannot make it, Lord. I cannot make it. I cannot make it. I saw a look over Wonga Wanguzi. You get Na 
kufuna rubuto soka kumanya monte Ode kubachi tangwe uba mzara wika Nikaso makora tu ya natonyo mamirimu Kubaka sente kumuchala kaba woku luzi Keka mutasa I don't know where my husband got lost from. The man I met was with. The man who wished me the best. The man who promised me that death would draw us apart. I said, for better, for worse. But I never thought what exactly better or worse is. But now I know the worse is my husband's court is another woman is sneaker. Shame on you, Derek. Shame on you. I can. No, Derek. Don't explain. It's okay. For better. For worse. This file B. Derek think. Please think harder. Yeah. 
Thank you for bringing him back home. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be looking like this. But as you know, I have less control over some of his decisions. You shouldn't be sorry. It's okay. I'll bring you a drink. Oh, no, Hilda. It's late. My wife must be worried. Maybe next time. You're right. Have a blessed night. Thank you. My regards, Swajat. All right. you like this guy so much? I mean, you're beautiful and you can still have a man of your own. Jose, this guy is so perfect. You may not easily see it and everything about him works for me. I think my mom will like him too. <laughs> what exactly will your mom like about this guy? Is it Derek the Christian name or Derek the Mukanthiri man? <laughs> At least I know your father very well, Haj Farouk. He will never like such a man for his Muslim daughter. Jose, things changed and the choice is mine. Putting that aside, I have a new plan to fully own him. <laughs> you know my ears are always eager for such plans, so don't keep them waiting. <sighs> That's the perfect plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you must do it so fast before he sees another promising queen be. You know man, girl. Just leave that to me. Eh, hey, Sophia, you must be really determined. I'm very. In fact, I'm more than determined. Good. Good. 
That's my prayer. I call you. But I need peace. I need a child. God. I need you to answer me. No, this is what I need from you. God, please, I need a child. I need peace in my home. I need my husband back to me. I need his love. I need him. I just need him. I need peace. I need my husband's love for brings you in my office at this time. I think this is not appropriate. First welcome your visitors, then ask questions. Weren't you taught well? doing and from where come on love has no answers to that such questions anyway i have some great news for you great news i'm all yours i am pregnant for you what Oh my God, you are my everything. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you so much. is going to be very, very happy. I know, but there's something I need you to do for your baby. Sweetheart, you've just taken me to the moon where everything is possible. So, I say? I want you to take me home and I feel the gap of your way. But you know, you know that's impossible. Anything is possible. You said that. I know. What a surprise. You have never brought me food at the office. Anything is possible.
Lord, you are my God. <laughs> Exalt you and praise your name. <laughs> For in perfect faithfulness, you have done wonderful things. Things planned along the go. <laughs> Made the seat of room. Oh, 
we are also here, mother. Mm. Life is good. I can see. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Oh, thank you, my lovely daughter. Welcome, <laughs> mom. Mm. It really smells good. <laughs> Is the village? The village is so good. Oh. <laughs> and how is father? Your dad is so lovely. Oh. Wow, that's, that's so great. He has sent greetings to you. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and others? And they're also fine. That's very good. Yeah. We're also good, as you say, Ash, <laughs> mother. I can see. <laughs> she actually takes a good care of me. <laughs> Him. <laughs> That is so good. Mm -hmm. oh. You should keep it up. Always. Baby. Yes, dear. Excuse me for the moment. It's okay. Okay. It's fine. Um, can I go? help me with that one? Thank you so much. Okay. By the way, I like what I've seen here. Your marriage is just three years old. But it's as if you have just met. Keep it up. I promise. Though it's raining outside and burning inside. Yes. We love each other. Stop crying. But stop it. I understand. <sighs> Mother, it breaks my heart. When I see how my husband loves me. I cannot give him a child. Stop crying. I have tried everything, mother, but all in vain. He's beginning to find alternatives. <laughs> I'm a woman like you. I know how that fire burns. <laughs> but how? Oh, there is time for everything. You must fight and keep it raining. Because when it stops, it will burn your house to ashes and you'll never build it again. <laughs> Let it burn and keep building. Let it burn and keep building. As I said, love is all that matters. Please, keep it up. <laughs>
Before you go, son, we have to settle something that is very important. And I'm sorry, it may not wait. I hope you know this woman. Mother, can, can we talk from outside? Please. Hey! <laughs> You want us to talk about your future happiness from outside? Because these useless people are occupying you from inside. Are you insane? Mother, we cannot talk about this now. At, at least not here around our vista, please. Am I not your vista? Who that mother is here? Who else? is bigger than your mother. This beautiful woman is ready to give you a child. Oh, my son. You must be bewitched. I saw it coming. Like mother, like daughter, evil people have finally bewitched my son. Mother, enough. Enough of your drama. Okay, I know who she is, and I'm old enough to sort out my mess. No. No, son. Why then did she come to me for help? Mother, please. Enough. If you know that I'm your mother, better listen to me. This young lady is carrying my grandchild. Therefore, she's here to stay and take care of her husband. Woman, I assume that my son's house is too small for the three of you. I don't have powers to chase you out. But just in case you feel inconvenienced, I advise you to find refugee somewhere else, useless bastards. Mother, I hope you heard me too. This thing you carried for I don't know how many months was a total waste. Hey. Sophia is ready to bring all the weighted happiness to my son's house. Won't you help? and excuse them? Mother, please, go to your room. I'll find you there. Derek will carry the luggage for you. He is a gentleman. Mother, please. He knows what to do.
Stephen, does this happen? Mother, you should stop crying. No. It might be my cross to carry. This is too much. This is my home. Oh, mother. This is too much. You did your job when you told me how to face such challenges in life. Please. This is too much. Mother, please. Everything will be fine. I promise. Mother, don't worry about me. It is the best you can do for me. I will organize your things and escort you to the next park. Whatever is eating your mind up must be great. Is it Hilda? It is out of my control. I am burning. What's happening? My house is on fire. I should have seen this coming. My mother abused my wife and my mother-in-law, and it all happened in front of Sophia. I can now not look into Hilda's eyes as confidently as I used to. Sophia, your mistress came at your place? And she's not leaving. She is my mother. Hilda is my official wife. And Sophia is carrying my child. And you allow that to happen? Derek. See how far you have come with Hilda. You can't pay her back like that. You must do something about it. Sophia is already pregnant with my child. I can't throw her out just like that. Derek, are you sure that's how you're going to sum it up? Just like that. Thank you. So, how are you? 
She say, I'm really, really fine. Very soon. You'll have to add another name after Sophie because Mr. D is about to become mine. <laughs> Meaning it worked. Everything just worked out so well. My mother-in-law was so well. She just made everything easy for me. Like, you see? And everyone in the house is waiting for the Messiah to be born. <laughs> it's the conundrum. <laughs> Her poor mother, while all seated there, so helpless. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie. <laughs> oh my god. I had a lot of fun inside that house. Like, bitch, I'm just on top of everything. I just really like the Sophie, the bread. You know, Sophie, Sophie is just. <laughs> On top there, I'm having a lot of fun inside that house. <laughs> Mother! Mother, please, I'm late. Okay, yes, my son. Yeah, let's go. I hope you're ready, right? Before I go, I want you to get this clear. I don't want to hear anyone messing up with this woman. Otherwise, you won't like what I will do. Those are my words. Let's go. Derek, please. Can I please escort mother up to town? I don't want to say goodbye. Oh. I'm going to miss you. Oh, please, Sophia. Do not start. I'm late. Okay? Mother, let's go. Why not, my dear? This is your wife. You can go with her to work. Mother, should we go? Thank you, Mother. We go, Mother. Has all this 
happened to you? Is Derek fine? Then how? Why? I shouldn't carry my troubles to you. I'm sorry. This is my cross to carry. Don't say that, baby girl. You know that we are best friends. So long. I know. I hope you have a lot to tell me. So, how is your new home treating you? Yeah. I'm the super power in the house. Like, I rule over everything and everyone. So, how about the woman? Is she still around? Or are they divorced? That's why I'm here. That woman ain't going anywhere. Like, she said she would rather lose her life than lose her husband. Hmm. You are joking. The Sophia I know can never stay in a house for three days with a co-wife. How have you failed to eliminate her? I have never met a woman as complicated as Hilda. I really don't know what this woman uses, but trust me, it works. I need help. Like, that's why I'm here, Josephine. What should we do? Remember, you are pregnant. That should be a tool to fight her. What do you mean? I don't get it. Come. Are you serious? Yes. You're a genius! How come I didn't think about that? That will work. Oh my <laughs> god. god, it will. <laughs> Oh god, you always got me. Oh come my here, god, it's here. good having friends like you. <laughs> oh my god, how come I didn't think about that at all? So, that's Joseph for you. Oh my god. Okay, I can't wait now. Like, good um, First and foremost, I'm very sorry on behalf of our company about the delay in the products. Um, this was due to so many processes that we are undertaking. But I am assuring you that everything is ready and the products will land in the country Uganda very soon, um, precisely five days from now. I am with my partner Abdul who will deliver you the next information. All I would request from you is mutual trust. That's the only tool that is going to enable us sign more and more contracts. Definitely making more business. You can't sign another contract without delivering the first product. Exactly, sir. I'm wondering what is going to happen after five days. I guess there should be no more business with your company. I'm sure we shall not disappoint you this time. Our business shall move in greatness.
What happened? Oh God, when I get scared, you know when I'm weak, it's you who I turn to. I bring the life of Sophia into your hands, take control. It's you who knows her better than anyone else. It's you who knows what has happened to her. Please, please Father, protect her. Heal her. I know you can do it. I know you can do it, Lord. Prove yourself, Lord. Don't put her in much pain, please, Lord. Protect her. Protect her pregnancy. Protect her life. She needs you, Lord. She needs you more than ever. She cannot do it alone. She cannot fight alone. Please, God, listen to me and answer my prayers. I call you, Father. You know better. Please take control. I am calling you because all my trust <laughs> It's on you, Lord. I am calling you because my fight lands in you. I am calling you, Lord. No one else can hear me. No one else can understand me better than you. Please, Father, take control. I'll always praise you and worship you. I'll always glorify your name. I pray and believe in you. Amen. Madam, you are bleeding. I have to see the problem. I'm the patient and I said I'm okay. What's wrong with you? Can you please lock the door? This should remain a secret between me and you. Is that okay with you, doctor? Let me hear it, please. I would love to know your name. Dr. Paul. Mm. Nice name. Dr. Paul.
so Dr. Paul. I'm not bleeding. I affect everything. I want you to tell my husband that I made a fault with someone and I fell down badly. And I got a miscarriage. I want you to tell him I lost the baby. What? Do you understand the weight of your request? My profession does not allow me to do that. Dr. Paul, it's such a simple statement to make and by the way, it comes with a lot of cash. Whatever amount you ask for. Come on, these are ugly things. I will see what to do. Never keep your patient waiting in vain. <laughs> it's a medical rule. Have you tried to talk to them since then? I tried calling Derek, but he's not answering. Maybe he's still talking to the doctors. But how can she bleed to almost death just like that? I don't have an answer for that. Maybe she fall down. But how? I don't know. I don't know. It was not easy at all. 
<laughs> you know you got guys with money. I know, but I, I thought maybe you made some moves on him. Come on, I'm the drama queen, you know. He did your drama but queen. It happened, and <laughs> we are safe. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and the hospital. <laughs> Charge later. Does that mean I lost my baby? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Come down. <laughs> Come down, darling. Okay. Come down. I hate that woman. Don't worry yourself, baby. I hate her. I hate her with all my life. I hate <laughs> Come down. We'll make another challenge, okay? for you. Would you be strong enough to contain it? Everything comes from God, doctor. He hit you so badly. But as you said, everything comes from God. Your baby is not affected. Doctor, what are you trying to say? In other words, Madam Asimi, you're one month pregnant and the baby is very fine. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pada masa ni. Sometimes God takes long to answer certain prayers. But with a reason. This is your time, Madam Asimi. Be careful in whatever you do. Yes, Doctor. Because you are allowed to. Yes? Yes. You may have a rest now. I will discharge you in the event. <laughs> But you will always be my baby girl. <laughs> Derek, you mean you lost control up, up to that extent? Why didn't you question her and let her explain? Why would I listen to her? Sophia explained everything to me. Yes, I know she's jealous, but she was not supposed to fight her so badly like that. Derek, Hilda is your wife. You have been married for three years, for God's sake. And she's just a woman. How could you flex your muscles with her? Because of a side chick that you've just seen for a few months. Who knows? Maybe Sophia attacked first. Probably in self-defense, Hilda hit her back. You need to listen from Hilda as well. Look, man, I am talking about the life of my child. Forget about Sophia and Hilda's mess. I lost my child, Abdul. I lost my child. I don't want to say I know. <laughs> if you are my son, I would slap you hard. You're my father. Thank you for this, what you have done to me. There's no way I can thank you. But I will praise you and worship your name forever. I will stand always and testify to your name because you're my blessing. Father, I still come into your presence. I pray for Sophia's life. Lord, uh, let your hand be there. Let anything difficult become easier. Let him be blessed wherever he is. Let he see your goodness. Father, stand in his way. Break every chain of the devil. Break everything that comes into his business. Don't let it, Lord. Don't let it, Father. Always protect him for me. Guide him, Lord. I surrender him into your hands because I have no control over him. It's only you, God. There's nothing big before you. That's why anytime I come to you, but I thank you so much for my marriage. I thank you so much for my blessing. You have blessed me. You have blessed me, Lord. I will always testify your name. I will always be grateful. I will always thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Your name shall be testified and glorified. I pray and believe in you forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation. We are so grateful. This is a consultative meeting aimed at improving on the quality of our products. So, do your clients like our products? I'm kind of a man who calls a spade a spade. I never like the products. Not me only. Even the clients never like the products. I will not beat around the bush. Abdul, the products are not good. At first, you asked for time. Then the time was given. And after all that, you present to us fake products. I think we don't have business here. We are very sorry for what happened. But we promise to compensate with better products. Just give us another chance. Just comes once. Opportunity favors the prepared one. I guess you are not prepared well enough for business. And if it's all about giving second chances, then I'm out. A lot of man has been lost, guys. Enough is enough. We are asking for another chance to correct our mistakes. We are not asking for more investments, please. We need some space. But I think they are trustable partners. They deserve a second chance. What about time? Are we looking for more two months? If they are ready to compensate at no cost, it's worth waiting for. Adam, Liz, are you okay with it? We will see how it goes. Um, gentlemen, we are going to give you our trust. If it fails this time round, you have to compensate with cash for all the losses incurred. I said cash. Anyway. You go and execute your promises. Thank you so much. 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 Sophia, mm. I can't believe you fooled this guy that you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe it too. <laughs> but it had to work. Why not? Hilda already has a weakness, and Derek's next alternative is to file a divorce case. And that gives you the guarantee to take over. But I hope you're ready to give him what he's craving for. I will. When he officially takes me home, and when that witch is out, life is a bit, Josephine. Life is indeed a bit. If I had this from someone, I would say it's a lie. But I had it myself. No, we're just simply baseless jokes. Please, do not take it personal. Please. It's not personal. But I must say that you are betting with a wrong person. Shame on me, Derek. Shame on me. But 
Why, Sophia? Why? Why? Derek, because I love you. I could not afford to lose you, Derek. I was simply doing this for us, please, Derek. Could you at least grant me a second chance? Please. Please. A chance is given once. And if it's damaged, that's the end. You will live to regret this your entire life. Selfish people. Don't leave me, please. 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 What would you Please, Derek. the second chance given to us. Derek, what are your minds? Sophia, eh? Do you know what? This is Hilda at work. I went home and found her deeply immersed in prayer. Asking God to bless our business. Okay. To heal Sophia and her baby. And this is unbelievable. After all that I've taken her through. My mother. But she still has the courage to wish me and Sophia the best. Hilda is a great woman. I'm not surprised. <laughs> 
might be she deserves another chance. That's the hidden power of a prayerful woman. Maybe the second chance we asked for wasn't for our own business success, but for the success of your marriage and Hilda. What brings you here? Macri, please. Would you allow us in? A lot has happened, and I believe you are aware of everything. But please forgive me. Please. Babe, you're talking to a wrong person. Your wife deserves this. Not me. And as for me, I'm fine. Madeline, please. Hilda is your best friend. You're almost the same. Please, listen to a crying free man and pardon him for God's sake. Hilda may not listen up. But please do. Derek loves you guys. Forgive me. And I was wrong all along. And you are the only person my wife can listen to. She knows it. She knows it. Your wife is a listening partner. Talk to her. Thank you enough, but to surrender ourselves to you, that we shall worship, praise, and glorify your name always. Let the whole world see that you are the King of Kings. Let the whole world see that you are the Creator. Let the whole world see that you are the control of everything. That if you say yes, no one can say no. If you stand within two people, Father, you can build them for the best. We shall stand and testify to all people. I glorify your name. Amen. Thank you. The cake looks so great. Seriously. I know she will love it. Oh. <laughs> You've done this with a lot of love. So, <laughs> shall we dress up as we wait for her? Oh, yeah. I all right. Think. Yeah. Then let us go. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. Yeah. Oh, 
Why are you in the dark? Um, I, I, I was just sleeping. At this time? Yeah. Just come in, babe. Surprise! Happy third anniversary! Wow! Let all of us have the joy. <sighs> Don't tell me you're going to cry. Uh, no. <laughs> no, no. no, 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 no. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not supposed to cry today. Of course, you shouldn't even. Even a drop. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This time around is tears of joy, right? Indeed. Alright. Thank you so much. Dear Lord, please our phone. Let us enjoy it. Let it let it give us power to do all that you want. In Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Amen. What's wrong? I'm okay. Papa. Sure. <coughs> What's wrong? I, I don't know. Will, will she be fine? She just said that she will be fine. So maybe a glass of water. I guess she will be fine. 
As she said, let's be a dick. I'm just worried about my wife. Honey, uh, there is something I would love you to know. And you have to pay me. How much do you want? Let me see. A kiss. <laughs> Fifty. Wow. Fifty thousand? Mm-hmm. Only that? Mm-hmm. Most welcome. This witch is still controlling my son. Mother, please don't start. Young boy, that witch killed my grandson, and mother, now. Enough. Enough, mother. With all due respect, I beg you in the name of God, leave my wife alone. Oh, I see. You read to choose between your mother and wife? That woman was never pregnant. You should know that. And my wife, Hilda, did not do anything wrong to that woman. That stupid woman you see with her friend are real killers. They are real killers. I am your son, mother. You should believe me. Save me from this confusion. Who is fooling you here? You, get your back, get out of my house, get out of my house. Just get out, get out, get out. Mother, my wife will give me children. 
even God says yes. Just save the old woman from confusion. Just break the news. And say, I'm pregnant. What? How old? One month and two weeks. Oh, thank you for bringing light into my son's house. But please, 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 and please forgive me. Oh. Forgive me. That is between you and your God. Me, I have no problem. I'm okay. Life moves on. Oh, yeah, yeah, 